So you want to know how to implement remove ads in your app in a simpler way right so in this video i'll be showing you everything that you need to do to um, achieve this before we start i would like to show you a demo right so let me open up the app i'm running this app in my physical device so as you can see now there is a an ad there at the bottom then we have got a remove ads button and the text view which is return off this off it simply means that we don't have the product as yet but as soon as we purchase the product then this is gonna uh, turn to on then the ad it will disappear right so let's just click remove ads then uh, this is the remove ads activity as you can see there is a non-consumable text view this is a non-consumable uh, product a non-consumable product it simply means that this product you can only buy it once you can only buy it once and own it a uh, lifetime right so and also we have got a button here to restore the purchase when i click this button now it it means that there is no uh, product yes yet so this one is going to restore the product uh, even if the user they uninstall your app or they install your app into a new device they can still restore this product I'll show this in the video then now let me go ahead and purchase the product then one tap to buy There you go so now when i go back to the uh, main activity we should see on here then the ad it's no longer showing right the ad is no longer showing then when we try to repurchase this uh product then we get an error that we own this uh product right so let me just uh close up the app then open it again you will see that we still have on there then the ad it's gone right so we are using a shared preference to store the on inside the app right so now i want to uninstall the app and install it again So now the app is gone let me just go to my android studio and install it again so now it's done installing so when they open up the app they will be taken to off right meaning that they, they need to go to remove ads then uh, let's try and purchase it again you still own this product then now they can use this button to restore the purchase you see successfully restored so now when they go back the on is there right the on is there then uh if you want to test your 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 product again you want to purchase it again i've got a separate video on how to fix that let me go to my youtube channel then it should be error yeah it's this one i'll be showing you how so if we have uh, this error here you can watch this video i'll link it in the video description to solve this so that you can uh, be able to test again now we are done with the um, the demo preview we're gonna move on to implementing the the in-app purchases to remove our ads right so as you can see i've got the repository here just go to the repository scroll down then you will see remove ads dot md so this documentation you can just go through it and see what you need to do this is what you need before you start you're gonna need a google play console account an app that is already published on play store but if it's not yet published on play store you can uh, upload your app inside internal testing right so also you'll need a tester device and to configure it right 
and these are the methods that we gonna implement so you just need to follow along you will see how we gonna implement these ones so now step one is to go and do our preparations look for this uh, look for a build build cattle file in your app let's just open up our existing project then this is our existing project you can go to the build cattle file and add these dependencies then go to the manifest file and add these billing permissions you can just copy it from here so our second step is to initialize the billing client on our create method copy this piece of code go to the activity where you want to list the the, the products right so i have a separate uh, activity which is uh, remove ads right don't worry about these errors we're gonna fix them just scroll down look for on create paste this piece of code there then have over to purchase and import the class you can close this folder then go back to the documentation scroll down this is the third step copy this um paste it here so guys i'm copying and pasting because i want to save time you can paste this here import i mean you can just import everything that is not imported so what you need to do also is to see you see that i'm using a bill a billing client here then you can just initialize it there on top and also you need this product details list which is of type product details you can just give it any name here then you're gonna use a, a, a progress bar to load the products and there is a clear viewer and a handler you will see how we're gonna use these things right scroll down you can just eliminate those spaces go back to the documentation you'll see that now we are on, we are on step four copy this go back to the project paste it here right outside on create method then now i can have over to this import the class have over import import make sure you choose the first one right never mind this one choose the first one and here we gonna fix this can import this class done so this one is gonna show our product on screen right so what's gonna happen now is to initialize our billing client then we establish the connection from your device to google play this is the code to start the connection right so as soon as it's done starting the the, the connection uh meaning now it's connected to google play then we show the products right we show the products if it is if, if it disconnect then we establish the connection again we try to connect again right so then under show products you will see that we are creating a list of products right in the list of products this is the product where we need to define our product id then you can just uh, go to your google play account to see how to create a product id and then choose the app go to monetize in app products then you can just create a new product give it the product name follow this then give it a name description and price it right do not tick mark this please do not tick mark it because this is a non um this is a non-consumable product so i've got this product of mine which is remove ads then you can just copy the product id and paste it there then this it's going to take this list product id and set the product id to this class then we're gonna query the product 
details then this method is going to query the products list right then it's going to return this product list then when we return the product list we are adding it to our array which is this one this list here then after adding it here then we pass it into our remove ads adapter and then the remove ads adapter is going to display the product on our screen right so go back to the documentation we are not done as yet then now as soon as the products they are available and the user they click the product then we need to launch the purchase flow right then copy this paste it here you can import missing classes then now we need to verify the pay the purchase or to process the purchase right so copy this then go there and paste right so this handle purchase it's going to verify the purchase right after verifying the purchase then we need to set is remove add to true right we are using a shared preference here if you can go to this class you will see that uh, we are using this shared preference and then now we are putting a value of true to um is removed at then we are using it as a boolean because we are using it here as a true so now it's going to set this to true so this one is just my logs to see the the token the time and the order id don't have to worry about this then scroll down so now we need to handle uh, pending transactions copy this paste it there so this one it's going to handle any pending transactions for an example if the user now they purchase your app your your, your product inside your app and then the app it crashes or it takes time to purchase right then they close the app then whenever they go back to the activity we just gonna invoke this on resume method then it's gonna take the product right it's gonna take the product and handle purchase then handle purchase is gonna it's going to acknowledge your pen your your your, your purchase right it's gonna acknowledge it so that uh, google play does not refund the user then acknowledging the purchase then it's gonna set this remove ads to true right so now this is the method that we need to restore our patches scroll down and then paste it here then this method is going to restore uh, our product and then it's going to check the in-app products then there's it's going to return a list once the list is returned then we are checking whether the list is not zero if it's more than zero meaning there is a product then we activate the set um, is removal add right we set it to true so now to solve these errors we need some additional file to get this additional file you need to go to this website site dingy icu forward slash store then you can see there is this product recycler viewer remove ads adapt you can just go to it then you can just purchase using um a paypal right so i already have this um product purchased under my account so i'll just go ahead and log into my account go to my downloads and then this is the file that you need just go ahead and download then it should be downloaded into your download folder then you can just go ahead and open up the fold this is the um the recycler viewer interface and um the remove as item and then the adapter also keep in mind that when you purchase this product it's gonna be available to you instant right 
gonna be available to you instant you don't have to wait as soon as your product as soon as you pay for this product then it's gonna be available to you all right let's go back to our project to complete this okay now so copy your interface like that then go to your project and then you should see an interface folder there then if you don't have one you can just create it then paste then now you need to copy uh, the adapter then go to adapters folder then if you don't have the adapters folder and then you can just go ahead press new and then create package right so now we can just paste then now this is the last thing that you need to copy and paste the xml file and then you can just overwrite okay so now since we are done importing our adapter and our interface then go ahead and import these classes and then go to the adapter and import the class again then now we need to have over to this first line then implement methods and then click ok and then now a new function will be implemented so now in this function is an item click so what you need to do is to call to call launch purchase flow and then you need to pass the product details say product detail list dot get inside get and then put the position like that i want to see how to remove the the ads right so go to your main activity or where the ads are, are displaying in your app right so um i'm using a shared preference here so i'm checking if uh is remove add true right so if you can go to this method you can see that i'm checking this key this is the same key we used to save the true value here where did we save this true value let me go to my remove ads activity then as you can see here uh after uh, the payment now it's acknowledged then i go to set is add is remove add and then i pass in true there right so when i go to my main activity i'm checking if is remove true then if it's true i'm setting the test to uh, to on and also go to where you load your what your product i mean your banner ad as you can see here if it's false then i'm displaying the ad then if it's true then i'm not doing anything i'm not showing the ad as you can see it's the same thing as the subscription if the subscription you get is equals to one then you are a subscriber then you should not uh, show the ad here right so if you understand this concept then um, you are good to go but if you don't understand i will be glad to explain in the comments for you so now we can just run the app on our phone to see so now we are done with uh, our implementation so we can just go and test there you go purchase go back there you go so if you like the video please consider subscribing to the channel and like comment if you have any questions bye for now